so let's check the super input output IC. Okay, so to check the super input output IC, you should first check the body of IC and also all pins of the IC. If you find something that is not normal, means there is a problem here. Okay, as you see, you should check the body of the IC. I will show you an example of a bad component. That's why we should always check the body of ICs and MOSFETs. So do you see this, this IC over here? Okay, this IC is bad, is damaged. That's why we have this hole here. This IC should be replaced. Okay, so this IC, as you see, is a good IC. But this is bad. That's why always you should check the body of ICs before going to check its pins and the voltage, etc. If you have a dead motherboard, you can connect the adapter okay, to the power jack and then go and fill or check using your finger the IC. If you find that the IC is hot, is very hot means the IC is damaged okay but to be sure 100% I will give you the secret the secret is to check the PF capacitors around the IC exactly this one this one does also okay as you can see here and this one also because if you find any one of this is connected to the ground, is shorted to the ground, means this IC is shorted to the ground because always the PF capacitors or the ceramic capacitors near to this IC is connected to the power rail, not to the ground. Okay? If you find this or this, for example, or this two or this connected to the ground, means this short this ic is short let's check the speed capacitors using the multimeter so first put the multimeter to the buzzer option and then press the power button so then check the continuity okay so let's check this capacitor as you see so this is a good capacitor if you hear a buzzer means there is a problem for this also good let's check this too also good this also is good so if you hear a buzzer if you check for example this and you hear a buzzer like this means there is a problem not in the pf or ceramic capacitor in the siu okay so it seems that the super input output is good okay so let's check around the super input output so let's check okay so all components around it are good so the capacitors are good here we have this diode good okay so the bios okay let's see yeah yeah okay okay the bios seems not good this is a bad BIOS. So we have here, this is a flux, means this BIOS is already replaced. As you can see, I really, I don't know about this motherboard. Yeah, this is, okay, this is the, fl the flux. As you see, this is a bad BIOS. So it seems that the problem is in the BIOS. This BIOS is already replaced. So it become again bad so the problem is in the bios maybe we have to flash or to reprogram the bios again with its flash or maybe the bios ic is bad so this motherboard has a bad bios this bios should be replaced and then the problem will be resolved Okay. When you plug the power jack, okay, so we have a 19 volt. 
So this is the power jack. Okay, when you plug this power jack, this 90 volt pass through some components here, like fuse and switch or MOSFET. Okay, so this 19 volt can be passed through a fuse, okay, and through a MOSFET or a switch. Let's assume Q1, and you can find another switch, for example, Q2, and then a resistance, a current resistance, PR, for example, this is a current resistance. This should be connected to a power management IC. Okay? So, here we will get the main power 19 volt. Now here, this 19 volt should be distributed to the whole motherboard. So this 19 volt should be distributed to the motherboard Okay, to the motherboard circuits, including processor circuit or CPU circuit, RAM circuit, 3 volt and 5 volt circuit, GMCH circuit, ICH circuit, etc. This 90 volt will be distributed to the all motherboard circuits, okay, including CPU circuit, RAM circuit. 3 volt, 5 volt circuit, GMCH circuit, ICH circuit, etc. So, for the SIU, okay, so in the motherboard also we have the super IU, okay, or super input output IC, this one, okay. This SIU is powered with 3.3 volt. And also gives three three point three volt signal to mini component exactly to the keyboard keyboard when the computer is slip you can just press the keyboard and there the computer will be powered on again so 3.3 volt the CPU input output give 3.3 volt to keyboard also to the BIOS chip okay BIOS chip okay in the pin number 8 okay you can find also in pin number one and pin number five, etc. But pin number eight is is important. Also, the SIU gives 3.3 volt to to the power button, okay? To the power button. That's why when you press the power button, okay? When you press the power button. Here, for example, connected to the ground and here 3.3 volts. So when you press the power button, the 3.3 volt goes to ground and then the computer will power on. So the SIO gives 3.3 volt also to the power button. Also, it gives 3.3 volt to battery connector. Okay, in order to charge charge battery okay in order to charge battery okay so the SIO has a very important roles okay